and welcome back to another candle review. So today I am doing the one in autumn, which yeah, I'm not that thrilled about, truth be told, which um I think I talked about this during the haul when I opened it, but this is definitely a repackage of the old school Harry and Slatkin days leaves. I don't know if they still make leaves. If they do, I'd like to check them side by side, see if they're the same, if they're different. They're just real damn similar, but to me it smells just like I remember that one smelling. I think I might still have a teeny tiny little miniature tea light size one somewhere. So if I can find it, I'd like to compare them. But that said, from what I can tell, just by memory, it's just like it. Mostly because with that one, I also had it in pocket back and I used to love it. it used to be one of my favorites. Then I put it on in my brother's car and he couldn't stand the smell of it and he insists that it took over a week for that scent to leave his car even though it didn't spill. It was literally just on my hands and he claimed it smelled like rotting apples and leaves. Yeah. <laughs> Little harsh. And the scent notes in this are bright red gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, and fir balsam. With the exception of the fig, this sounds identical. Definitely get the apple. Definitely get the balsam. I really don't feel like I pick up on fig in there, but I... I may get a little bit of eucalyptus, but not much. But again, to me, it just smells like the leaves one. So, there's that. Um, and incidentally, it has some leaves on it, just saying. But yeah, so this is a three-wick candle from Bath & Body Works. As you can see, this one's fairly well-centered, which would, in normal circumstances, mean it would probably burn better. But again, we have braided wicks, which means not as high or fast of burning flames. So it is what it is. But look how pretty that lid is. It's all gingham. It makes me think of Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. So, I mean, I love it. Um, and it is 14 and a half ounces, approximate burn time is 25 to 45 hours, so that's always nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and light this up. I'm gonna see if maybe the fig comes out of hiding, if some of the other notes in it like swap around for how heavy they are, because right now I feel like apple is front and center, followed close by the fir balsam, and the other two kind of get lost in there. But I've also seen with some of these candles that as soon as you light them, sometimes the other scent notes come out. So I'm very interested to see what happens here. I will keep you guys posted on how it burns, how it smells, anything else. Throw, strength, all that good stuff. I will be back soon. Stay tuned. Okay, update. So about 10 minutes in and, you know, this one's making a liar out of me with the braided wicks thing. You can see these are still pretty tall flames and if they keep up like that, this one may not have burn issues, which would be nice, um, honestly. So, we shall see. I'm honestly really, really shocked. Every once in a while I look out and get one with braided wicks that actually does the thing correctly. Usually doesn't, but I mean, this one seems to be, so yay! Okay, so I've got some pers- uh, pers- <laughs> some post-burn review thoughts on the autumn candle. So this, surprisingly, is a little powerhouse of a candle. Even though it has the braided wicks and everything, it didn't burn like it has braided wicks. At least not at first. It got there after about an hour, but it still smells exactly the same as it did before I burned it, which sometimes they do, sometimes they totally change, sometimes they just change a little bit. This one's still friggin' identical to how it smelled before burning it. So, in case anybody was curious, no, it did not seem to find the scents in there that are supposedly there, like the fig. I still do not smell fig in this. Not even a little. But, um, regardless, when I first lit this sucker for, like, the first hour, those flames were high. Which, honestly, I did not see coming because of the braided wicks. Usually, they're very low and it makes it so it doesn't pool out because it doesn't get hot enough. Well, after about an hour, it hit that point, but it had already pooled out by then, therefore I didn't give a shit. Should be interesting in future burnings to see if it does that again, or if it just goes straight to low now that it's been burnt once. I don't know. 
guess we'll find out when we get there. But, um, this is a very strong candle, uh, <laughs> for better or for worse. Um, even before I lit the thing, I had the cap off, I was about to light it. I got called away, so I left the room, but the cap was already off of it, just unlit. I come back a few minutes later, and this thing smelt as if it were burning already. And it wasn't. That's how strong this little sucker is. So then I lit it. <coughs> Excuse me. So then I lit it, and holy crap, um, this... It's so strong to where it kind of goes over the cliff to where it's a bad thing. At least for me. Maybe for you, not so much, but this honestly started to give me a headache after a while. So that, you know, I would say strength-wise it was about a 9. Same with throw, it's strong as hell. I, I feel like this may be one of the strongest candles I own, which is crazy. And it just figures that it's this one that I'm not that wild on that has to be the one. But, um, it has cracked me up. Even with the door shut. Which normally, most candles, I can burn them if the door is shut and no one's any the wiser. Oh, you could not only smell it outside of my room with not only the doors shut, but my vents shut. You could smell it downstairs somehow. I'm like, how the hell? How the hell? This thing is insane. I think I've had like one other candle do that. So this is nuts to me. I'm just like, I don't understand. Explain your sorcery, little candle. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Part of me wishes more of them had that kind of strength. Part of me is kind of glad that they don't if they're all headache inducing at that level. I don't know, it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing where usually I complain that I wish they were stronger. This and I'm like, if we could just dial it down one click, one little click, one point, I would probably be a lot happier with it. It wasn't to where it was like migraine status headache or anything. No, 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 just like mild headaches. I mean, it wasn't a 10. A 10 would have been too much to the point where it's just like, oh my god, screw this thing, I cannot deal. I can deal with it, it's just an annoying headache, but mm, not so wild on it. Really not so wild. But that's just me, and that's just personal taste, therefore I'm not counting the taste part into the way I review it. However, it being too strong though, I'm going to factor into it. And the linger, that too, I should not be surprised is crazy strong. <laughs> Let's see, I lit this thing around, I want to say two in the afternoon. I blew it around, or blew it out around, I want to say four or five. I didn't even had, <laughs> I didn't even have, I didn't even have it going that long. I just barely lifted the cap for a second. I was like, whoo, that's strong. But, um, didn't even have it going that long. And it is still lingering. It's about 10 at night now. Double checking that. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. And it's not just a little linger. No, no. This is... It's almost as strong as when I first blew it out. I even had my window open for a while to try to let some of it out. No. No. It apparently is just like, Haha, I'm the one you didn't like, so screw you. Hell no, I won't go. It figures. It figures. <laughs> oh god, part of me is still debating, should I just bring it back and exchange it for one that doesn't give me headaches? I'm debating it. I am strongly freaking debating it, but I am on the fence. Because, I mean, being so strong, there might come a day when I need something hella freaking strong to, like, overpower something just horrible, but... Do I really want to do it with a scent that I'm not that wild on? I don't know. I don't, like I said, I'm on the fence. I don't know. Maybe I'll take it back. Maybe I won't. But, oh, goodness. It just, <laughs> yeah. So, hmm, what shall I rate it? Well, it being headache-inducing, that is one point down right there. Um, let's see what else. 
uh, the fact that the wicks, or not the wicks, the flames did die down within an hour of lighting it to where it's more traditionally like the braided wicks are, that I'm also gonna count is half a point. Mostly because it started strong, and it went strong for long enough to get it to pull out once. But I don't know if we're ever gonna replicate that a second time, so half a point. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna give this a three and a half out of five for a rating. If it didn't give me a headache, it'd probably be at a four and a half. But, alas, because it did, because I feel like it's way too damn strong, it needed to be dialed back just a touch. Not even a ton. Just a little bit, little tiny bit, to where it's out of headache territory. That's all I ask. Which I realize that's different for everybody, but I don't know. My own personal take, if I could change it, that is what I would do. I'd make it just the tiniest little fraction of a hair not quite as strong. But anyway, that's all I have to say for this one. So, yeah, three and a half out of five it. I would say if you can go smell this in store and you like the way it smells and would like your house to smell like this, grab it. If you're kind of on the fence about it when you smell it, don't buy it because it'll only get worse to you and you'll be like, oh my god, I'm so sick of this thing. I burnt it once and I'm kind of already there, so <laughs> yeah. That. So anyways, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below to any of you guys have this one. If so, what are your thoughts, good, bad, or otherwise, as well as anything else you feel like leaving me, leave it down below in the comments section. Uh, make sure you're following my social media accounts, they're all listed down below, and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So anyway guys, until next time, bye-bye.